You will regret this. Swimming and swimming and swimming. I'm finally swimming in blades and sorcery. Had my eye on this game ever since I first bought the quest and uh, finally got it. Um, this seemed like everything I like uh, engineering, game slashing, realistic physics, a little bit open worldy. So it's time for some training. Um, let's see. I, would work, I just wish I had to swim. That's nice and intuitive. Just swim like you normally do. Or use your controller to swim. There's a crashed up boat. Maybe that's how I got here. Shipwreck. I think you can pick up almost anything that looks pick upable in this game, which is nice. An apple. I presume I can eat. Yes, delicious. I should really have a real life apple. Smashy smash. Um, now climbing, I think, is next. Let's see. How is the climbing in this game? Hmm. I need to jump to get on top of the ledge. That's quite good, that makes sense. Um, I like that the um, climbing um, ledges are not highlighted with graphical effects, like in some other games. I'm talking to you, Hubris and Walking Dead, and most other games that are climbing. Um, I like that you can just climb wherever it looks like you can climb, which is not anywhere. You still need to, uh, to find little ledges. A rope? Can I pick up a rope? No. I jump down here. Oop, onto a ledge. A mushroom. Is it a magic mushroom? It's just an, an illumination mushroom. That's a nice idea. This cabin. Oh, this is very nice. Very nice. I love the design. What a wonderful cavern. Very, very nice indeed. Running. This is my favourite way to run. This is the same as in Battle Talent. You just swing, swing your arms to run. It also frees up a button on your controller because you don't need any buttons. That's definitely the best way to run. <laughs> right, more climbing. Um, slight, slightly clunky at times. You need to try and kind of, I think, catch the edge of the ledge, exactly the edge of the ledge, or you slip. But uh, it works. It works okay. I think once you get used to it. There you go. You have to be right on the edge, I think. Edge of the ledge. And jump. And get up. Oh, this, this is a nicely designed um, cavern. Look at these strange totems. Very nice indeed. Very nice. This looks like a strange portal of some kind. I really like the design. This is um, right at my street. Very much my cup of tea. Uh, this is almost certainly not open world. It is a presumably limited open world. You can't just go anywhere you like. But it has a nice sense of open worldness, I think. I wish somebody would make it proper open world, though. Somebody please make a proper open world game. I'm not jumping down there. <clears throat> Let's go back this way. Right past the strange portal, I presume. Huh. 
Jump. Nice, that works nicely. Right, now, apparently I use my kinetic um, ability to grab this lantern. And I've lost my momentum in the middle of the, um, the gap. Can I just swing my arms to get my momentum back? Yes, I can. That's very nice physics. <laughs> and just jump off. That works very nicely. You, you can grab things and pull them to you with your telekinetic ability. Can't stop looking at this beautiful cavern. Very nice design indeed. Very nice. Look at that. Lovely. More illumination mushrooms. Right, this is all just training really here. My training, climbing, jumping, swinging, grabbing, the usual stuff. Climby, climby. Gotta grab the edge. Edge of the ledge. Edge of the ledge. Oh dear. What was that? Come on up we go. What is going on here? Come on. Edge of the ledge. Right. Yes. Yes, we're up. There's a rope. I presume standard climbing will suffice for this rope. Up we go. Look at that beautiful cavern. Wow, very nice indeed. Very nice. I am impressed. Officially. We're coming out of the cavern, out into the daylight. We must be somewhere at the top of the mountain somewhere. A little homestead. Hmm. Okay, so I finally found my uh, inventory. This uh, thingamajig is in your inventory at all times. Very useful for swinging down ropes. Okay. Now, there are two ladies, um, I believe, guarding this homestead. Crouch. Use stealth by crouching or walking slowly. <coughs> Let's go around the back. <coughs> hmm. An archery range. Right, we're going to have to crouch now. Nice and slowly. Let's peek around the corner. What do we got? I don't appear to have a weapon of any kind. Do I have a weapon? Tools, I've got the pulley thing, uh, valuables, consumables, miscellaneous. Where are my weapons? I don't appear to have any weapons. Oh dear. We might have to do this the old fashioned punchy punchy way. She does have an axe on her back. I wonder, can I just help myself to that if she doesn't hear me creeping up behind her? That's very tempting. I think I'm going to go for the axe. I'll, I'll take that, please, madam. You will regret this. Oh dear. Oh dear, oh dear. <clears throat> oh dear, here comes her friend. A nice axe throw to the legs. That worked. Oh, she's getting up. I can't grab the axe. The axe is stuck to the other woman's foot. I had to slap her down. The physics are oh, quite nice physics. Um, hmm. Now she's dead. Ah, I see. You have to. You have to kind of um, target the sword, then pull the trigger to grab it. To with your telekinetic powers. Let's have another test of the physics. But yes, that works nicely. Tell me where the king is. She chose poorly. Very nice. 
and that's going to hurt in the morning. Okay, oh, I do like uh, <clears throat> the physics, very nice indeed. I expect there will be more difficult enemies to come. Uh, we should do a little exploration of this uh, homestead, which uh, might be mine now. It's my house now. Up the ladder, <laughs> detail on the roof. Did I see a chicken house? Um, what's this strange thing here? Oh, what's in there? Is there anybody inside this place? Here be a door. No one around. One of those strange totems. What have we got? An apple. Under the bottle. Oh, I'll put those in my inventory. Oh, a bow! One of my favourite weapons. Pretty nice. And what's this? Oh, looks like we've got arrows as well. I'll help myself to those. A weapons rack! Oh, very nice. A weapons rack. I believe um, Blade and Sorcery has just had a, like an end game update. But uh, that's currently PC only. Although I do believe it is coming to the quest in time. So this is a kind of a sandbox still version of Blades and Sorcery. I think theoretically I am able to equip myself with any weapons that I, I want. But for now I'll just see what's lying around I think. Can't seem to put these weapons in my holster. I don't know why. The axe. What about the axe? My original little sword, dagger thing, the short sword. That can go in my holster, but the other weapons can't. Looks like only one weapon on my back, one weapon on my side. Maybe I can upgrade that at some point. Um, boots, a helmet, can I just put that on my head? No. That probably is a way of doing it. I'll have to learn how to do it. Is that belts, gloves, can I can I put those on? I don't know how to put those on. Anybody know how to put gloves on? <coughs> nice candle. Who's this handsome chap? <coughs> Hello there. You look like you're ready for some adventuring. I like to dual wield with double swords. That's my preferred weapons. I've got my bow and my quiver on my back, a fancy hairstyle, and total control of my eyes. Interesting. I presume I can upgrade my outfit as well. It's a bit, uh, bit of a party outfit at the moment. Summer party outfit. Right. I think that will do for now. Where shall we go? This is the map Eroden. Markets, Canyon, Arena, okay. Outpost, I think that's a good place to start. Um, early access. Uh, okay. Ooh! A castle. Wow, this is a, this is a very glorious environment. It's very nice. That's my bow. Can I put my arrow back in my quiver? I put my arrow back. Can I put my arrow back? Surely I can. I don't know how to do it. I'm messing this up somehow. Anybody know how to put an arrow back in your quiver? I lost my bloody arrow. Right, there's a rope going out. What's that? Some kind of post coastal fort. Fortification. Why? Wow. Yes, this does feel it does feel open world, it gives you a nice illusion of being open world, but yet, it's on the of open world. There's my boat, that takes me to the locations, I think. I wonder if the map is on the boat when I go back, a bit like the Looking Dead style movement. Um, very nice. I'm very bad at what this game It is very much my cup of tea. 
scare you if I have a quick weapon that scare you. That was like a waterfall I see before me. Oh, very nice. Wow, cool. Oh, very nice indeed. Oh, can I get to it? Or can I go there from, from here? I wonder. There must be somebody guarding this castle entrance. <coughs> There's two people. Where's the one come in? Where's my sword? Where's my damn sword? I lost my bloody sword. <coughs> I slap her to death. Oh my god, she's not to be found. Go down. Kill. I'll take the axe, madam. Where's my bloody sword? I lost my sword somewhere. I must have accidentally unholstered it or something. I need a missing something. Can I get his attention? Can I get his attention? Can I get his attention? No. 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 I could throw this axe, maybe. I don't know if I can throw it this distance. Oh, he's seen me. He's, he's not approaching me. This might be a good uh, time to practice a little archery. Have at you. Oh dear. Another one, I think I need more strength. Oh dear, I got him, I got him. He's tough though. Down he goes. Yay, I love bows, that works nicely. Where is he? There's the one for. There's his axe. How would I feel to take more than two weapons with me? I'm not going in there. I'll leave that for the next mission. The first proper mission. My training is over. The castle awaits me. In the next video. video, video. So far I'm very happy I bought this. It's perfect for me. This game is just what I like. Apart from not being completely open the world. But anyway. I think I'll, uh, I'll leave it here. Give my axe. Get out my axe. I can't holster my axe. Damn it. What's going on with holstering? Right. Let's head down here. See you. Blades and sorcery.